World of Wonder Shorts 3 Buttons Part 1 If you really want to know how to use World of Wonder, learning where all the buttons are and what they do is a must. So, let's learn about the buttons. Once we enter the Creation Editor, we can see buttons at the top, bottom, left and right. The buttons at the top of the page mostly allow you to edit the settings and make adjustments to the creation as a whole. Save button lets you save a finished creation to avoid losing your work after exiting editing. Game parameters button, for example, set up the number of players, amount of supplies, gameplay UI and more. It's also where you can give your creation a name, description, tags. Editing settings button allows you to adjust some editing parameters, e.g. adjusting the maximum and minimum object size when resizing. This makes it easier for you to precisely control how you build your creation. Screenshot button takes a screenshot of what's currently on screen and saves it to the creation album. You can also upload it to use as your cover image. An exciting cover image will naturally draw more players to your creation. Settings button. This is the same settings page you'll see in classic mode. Exit button. Allows you to exit editing. Be sure to save before you exit. Combat mode. Switches the editing UI over to the regular combat UI. In combat mode, you'll have a regular gameplay UI that lets you fire weapons and drive vehicles. Play test button allows you to play test the creation by simulating a match to see if all the gameplay is working correctly, such as the devices and objects. It lets you directly get a feel of how your creation performs, which is convenient for making adjustments and improvements. Quick bar and backpack. Now, let's have a look at the bottom of the page. The bottom of the page is home to two crucial functions, the quick bar and backpack. They're vital features for editing. Quick bar. The quick bar has three tabs. Just tap the number to switch between them. It gives you quick access to commonly used objects. First, you'll have to select an object, then tap the Add button, and the object will appear on the bar at the bottom. Afterward, you won't need to open the backpack again to find it. Backpack button. This button is located in the top right corner of the quick bar. Tap it to open the backpack. There are a few object category tabs on the right. Browse for objects by category or use the search bar at the top.